I'm scared. Yeah. And I hate it. I hate this. So welcome to That's Scary. <laughs> I did a tarot reading recently, and it was actually pretty dope. So I figured, why not bring Cody into it? Because when I told him about it, he, he was literally shitting himself over it. We haven't made a video in a while, so why not come back and, um, you know, come back with a diaper full of shit. You're actually bugged out right now. Yes, because I know whatever happens here, I'm going to think about it for f***ing ever. <laughs> oh, okay, so we should ask her, like, really intense questions. We should ask her when you're going to die. N yeah, like, <laughs> I, am I going to find that out? I don't know. <laughs> she might just say it. What if she's like, pulls a bad card and she's like, oh, and we're like, what? <laughs> it's just, oh, that's the death card. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's happening. I hate it. <laughs> Do you want to, like, think of a question to ask her? I'm trying to think of, so of like, something that's general enough where it's not going to give me, like, it's not going to scare me the answer. Answer. Or should we get like hyper specific? Like, hey, I have a 2007 uh, Honda Civic. How much longer does it have left? <laughs> and she's just like, <laughs> three months, 27 days, nine hours. Mm. Will my dick stay the same size? Oh, no. She, she's gonna, <laughs> that'll just be, yes. <laughs> she can cover off on anything. It can be general or specific. What about something about the podcast? Oh, f like when, how will it, or er... is it gonna keep going? Going. <laughs> Uh, gets bought out by Tom Segura. <laughs> Spotify buys it and then shuts it down the next day. Mm, yeah, that Word. feels good. Cool. So we're about to call her Owani. Are you ready? Uh-huh, I'm ready. You think you know what yeah, you're going to ask Tell me her? straight up, will I ever be six feet tall? Okay. Please state your name after the tone, and Google Voice will try to connect you. Noel and? Cody. Hi, this is Owani. Hey. Hey, Owani, it's Noel, and I'm here with Cody. Hey, what's up? I'm nervous. Hi, <laughs> Noel, Mr. Leo, and Cody. What was your sign? Uh, I'm a spicy Sagittarius. Sagittarius? Okay. Yeah, very passionate. A little bit All of a right. temper, though, sometimes. I want to give you guys today's disclaimer. Okay. Uh oh. We are in a retrograde. This reading. May be a little bit unstable, or you may find that you're struggling to understand what I'm saying. Okay. So, Spirit Guys, please share with me the cards Cody, Mr. Sash, and Noel, Mr. Leo needs to see. Answer all of their questions as they be true, correct, and unbiased. Let them know what they can expect and the things they should avoid. Give me a number between one and nine. Four. Let me cut the card. One, two, three, four. The moon. So the moon card is in the shadow. I like the moon card when I'm talking to men. Is it holographic? So when I'm talking to men, I can pretty much be clear that you guys are not on your period. The moon card talks about how we think we feel and react about certain situations. You're saying because we have the moon card, we're good. We're not on our periods, you said? <laughs> But you said it could also be something maternal, something something with our moms. Yeah. You know, Maybe my mom is on her period. Sometimes it can be related to mother, pregnancy, or other females. Got you. I got your mom but pregnant. The <laughs> never, because the birth card is the very first card that comes out. And I like this card. So you guys are not dating, right? Nah. Nah. <laughs> We're, we're, we're dating other people. I like the card that the, the outcome is coming, it's talking about Empress. The Empress is more Venetian energy. Okay. Uh, more Venetian energy. It's talking I live about in Venice. A woman. You said Venetian? Yeah, like Venus. Oh, oh, Venus. Duh. What do you guys do for a living? Are you working on a project of some sort? Yeah, we're, we're comedians. Yeah, so we do a podcast together, right? And, you know, we kind of think maybe there's something, there's a bigger play, right? You heard Spotify bought Joe Rogan's show for hundreds of millions of dollars. We're wondering maybe that could happen to us, too. Right, okay, point blank, period. And what was the name of the show? The TMG Podcast. TMG Podcast. Spirit guys, please show me. Probably the right name. All right. Shuffle the deck, let's see. What is the level of 
no bad cards, all positive. Seven of swords. But it's a problem, seven of swords. It's saying that some people may have some trust issues or somebody might be being sneaky. But I'm not going to take this card as that because it's only in the shadow. It also talks about somebody's fear of that. So I'll just leave that with y'all. <laughs> You can't just drop a bomb on what you on just us like that. What you're saying, Noel's be, which one would be yeah, more likely sneaky? to be shady? Because who's, who's, the, I feel like the Leo would be shady. Who's being sneaky? I'm charming. Come on, I'm not sneaky. Sagittarius, we we don't we don't we have a temper. We don't we're not cutthroat, you know. With the shadow card, that is not your reading. Oh. All right, because when I turn these puppies over, oh, I see. and I pull the four card, when I pull the four cards, you will see that you got the sun. That is a not this is it a yes answer, it's a hell yes answer. Ooh, okay. All right. The sun is joy. The sun is happiness. The sun is brilliant. The sun the sun is that money. That's that bag. Oh. All right. And it's also telling me about a time period. Wherever you see swords, that's where you see the person's mind is active. They're over analyzing. They have a fear of failure. They have a fear of this. That's They're what we about things. That's us though. Yeah, so you're saying we, that Things look good, but we're kind of in the background. We're just like, we're just fearful for almost, it doesn't look like there's any reason to be fearful. Is that what you're saying? Exactly. That's why I'm sending you the card. I'm scared when you get your all the time. Deal, don't be a buzzkill. Be oh. patient. Everything is slow. We're in the middle of coronavirus 2020. We're ready to be trapped in the house, trapped in your mind. I done got so bored, I bought a cat. <laughs> <laughs> right now, I'm cleaning up kitty litter and having a cat drag on my hair. <laughs> so, should we get a cat? So yeah, should we get a cat? Should we get one. a cat? <laughs> Would that help you distract from the want. fear? Like, distract from, you know, the anxiety about whatever's happening in the future? Yeah, I hate cats. Yeah, so. I'll text you one. Go to North Hollywood Rescue, Hollywood. Kitty cafe, they're already spayed and neutered and bottle fed and socialized. This is what like this is what I was afraid of. This is adopting a cat. For... <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna send you a screenshot of their Instagram because this cat was in a kitty cafe. But let me tell you, they hand raised, they rescued the cat, they bottle feed it, they socialized it for two months. I was just trying to get you to get a cat. <laughs> Speaking of health and future, could you tell us maybe a little bit about our health? So I'm gonna pull two cards. To show me the health of Cody, then I'll do Noel, Mr. Leo, because I don't want to mix the two. I don't want to say somebody's got ass cancer if it's not. <laughs> you know. Ass cancer? <laughs> the tarot cards that show that? that oh, that's ass cancer. Come on, lighten up, man. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want ass cancer. <laughs> I'm gonna lighten up. <laughs> Oh, that's oh he's anxious about the ass cancer. That's the that's problem. That's what it is. <laughs> All right. What is Cody's Mr. Fed health look like for the next four months or whenever? See, this sucks. I'm f***ing scared right now. She has my so future in her hands. Cody Please no ass cancer. Please, no Please no ass cancer. Please no ass cancer. That's ass cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, ass cancer. <laughs> A S F. Bro, that's creepy. That's creepy. Stop. Oh my God, you guys are hilarious. The suspense is killing me. Is the star good or bad? No, the star is good. The stars the are star bubble. It's good. But remember, that's the shadow card. Oh. Let's see what the other two have to say. <laughs> oh, A S S. Damn. <laughs> Be like, I got a reading, and that told me I had to ask him. <laughs> For you, I got the ace of wands the, and the three of wands. The ace of wands. Now, when I look at the wands, this is a phallic symbol. And I want to keep things a appropriate, phallic? but a phallic symbol is usually talking about sex. But then next to that, we have the three of wands. Are you sleeping with more than one person? Is somebody going in Cody's ass? Is that what's saying? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you accusing me of cheating right now? I'm How with many one people are you involved with? One person. And she goes in his ass. That's our business. You trying to get married or have a children? I don't have any kids. I'm not married. But I'm, I'm saying, are you trying? Because we're talking about your health. No. And this is the Ace of Wands, which is a phallic symbol, a very positive card for opportunities. 
Did you get those cards yet? Yeah. Yeah. We got it right here. Yeah. All right. So let me tell you. Let me tell you. This is really, really good. So I like the three of wands because in Aries, it talks about somebody who's strong. But it looks about like they could be a little bit, I don't want to say hot-headed, but it has something to do with the blood. And I'll leave it at that. So I could be, like, I could have, like, a really strong d sort of thing? You said it's a, phall it's just a phallic card. So. I'm not a doctor. I'm a tarot card reader. I'm just giving you what the cards are saying. If you're open to it, Cody can send you a picture back. No. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Terrible. I feel good about those results. Right, that's really, really good. All right, now I'm gonna shuffle. I'll show you I'm what I'm working with. Again for Noel. Noel, are you in a relationship? Yeah, I am. All right, how's that going? Great. Because I see a woman here crying. Are you trying to break up with somebody? No. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> I li we literally just got engaged. Because I guess the partner that you're with, you feel like that's your soulmate? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Whoa. Now, Mr. Mr. Noel, don't be getting all emotional and start picking out with pizza. Huh? <laughs> and get, off the and get, off and get 30 pounds fatter. If you get 30 pounds in four months, don't get mad at me. 30 pounds in okay. four months. All right. <laughs> all right, so you good? I think we're good. Yeah. Yeah. I feel I feel really good about this. I was entertainment, it was a pleasure. I gotta be honest, I was I was really nervous coming into this, but I like what you said and I feel I feel comfortable now. I feel good. I feel like I'm not worrying as much. You don't need to worry. If you need a remedy for worrying, would you like a remedy too? Um e you want a remedy? Yeah, re let's do it. Remi remedy remedy up. Very easy. Does any one of you guys have pets? Oh yes. yes. Yeah, we, we do. We both have dogs. Good, good, good. What kind of special treat do you give the dog? Do you give the dog uh, dog biscuits or peanut butter? Um, I mean, yeah, yeah. I, sometimes. On a Wednesday, write this down, write this down. Okay. Go to okay. Trader Joe's or any place and buy a green plant. Green plant, copy. Once, once a month. Once a month. Yeah. For four months. Okay, okay. okay. And then do what, feed it to the dog or? That was a separate, that was a separate oh. thing. Oh my god, my stomach is hurt. Oh my god, not the dog. All right, let me be clear on that. So just buy the <laughs> peanut butter dog biscuits and give it to the dog on a Wednesday. Got okay. it, got it, got, got it. it. Okay. Cool. Thank you. All right, take it easy. You too. Thank Appreciate you, Owani. Nice talking to you guys. You bye -bye. as well. Bye. You too. Bye. I think mine was better. <clears throat> Yeah, like I got a better reading than you. Yeah, you did. You did. You kind of did. Like she just called me like, she's like, don't. She said she basically said, don't be a bitch and don't go eat pizza. You emotional little. F and is your girl good? Because uh, it looks like she's crying. For the two of us, it was just, don't be afraid. That's yeah. all she was saying. And I think I was scared for nothing. You were. I'm, I kind of like scary. it. I thought she was literally gonna be like, oh, you. You're damn, gonna die. You're gonna die i kind of love her like i almost feel like she should just be on the podcast i kind of i that was so much fun <laughs> maybe once a month we just hit every her up. four weeks because our numbers ah uh, we, we hit her we up call, we, we buy the plant then we call her and we like we got the fucking plant <laughs> yeah what do we do with now it? now what <laughs> we just i mean after two readings owani's like so part of my psychology in my life now, yeah you know i love her i, I love her and too i feel great all in all i think this i think this was a great one to come back on yeah man. this is fun if there's any bizarre bizarre shit that we could do mm -hmm. in front of the camera, let us know. Mm -hmm. We want to do it. We should have asked her to be like, oh, it looks like hundreds of thousands of people are going to smash the like button. <laughs> <laughs> hundreds of thousands of people are going to buy tickets to your tour next year. What? What? All right, guys, we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Bye.